We're coming down from a solar storm that pretty much fizzled, but all hope is not lost. There's another solar storm that's on its way. Those stories and more in the shorty this week. Space weather this week is getting very interesting. We're coming down from some fast wind that from a collapsing coronal hole that, well, as expected, kind of underwhelmed us. We didn't make storm conditions. As a matter of fact, we hardly made active conditions, but we did get some decent aurora show, especially at high latitudes over the last couple days. Now that storm is beginning to wane and it's left the Earth shield pretty rattled, which means that the Earth shield is very susceptible to any more storms. And guess Guess what? What comes next? Well, we had a solar storm launch back on November 30th from the south part of the disk, and it looks like the main bulk of it is going to go south of Earth, but the northernmost tip might actually graze Earth, and it could be enough of a disturbance to bump us back up to active conditions with even a tiny chance of storm conditions. Most likely not, but there is a chance, especially because the Earth shield is already rattled. So this is good news for your aurora photographers who missed out on this last storm. For you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, well, you know, it's going to look like it's going to be a bumpy ride here for the next couple days, but at least it'll give you some interesting propagation because, as you can see, the sun is still spotless. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that solar storm that was launched back on November 30th. Now the front part of this storm will probably be a grazing passage because most of it is going southward of us, but the back end of the storm actually looks like it might give us a bigger hit. So at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting storming conditions, as a matter of fact about a 45% chance of a major storm. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting active conditions but we've got about a 20% chance of a minor storm. And these conditions could easily linger into the 6th and possibly into the 7th before things quiet down, simply because the Earth's shield is already so rattled from the previous solar storm that, you know, was a bit of a fizzle, but nonetheless, it still agitated the Earth enough that we could easily bump back up to uh, some decent activity levels here. So your war photographers, hey, don't give up hope, especially at mid-latitudes. There could be a chance yet so keep your batteries charged. And then as things begin to settle down, we're going to have another coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone, but it probably won't bump us up more than just like these unsettled conditions that we've been seeing. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week. As I mentioned before, we have a spotless sun right now, so everything is in the green when it comes to solar flares. We have no risk of radio blackouts. So you GPS users, especially on Earth's day side, you should be loving life. Your GPS reception should look pretty good. Now, as far as you amateur radio operators are concerned, well, spotless sun usually is bad. when We have solar flux that's back in the 60s, which means poor radio propagation but we do have these little minor disturbances from these solar storms. It's keeping us right around unsettled conditions. And as that continues, that could actually boost propagation for you. So don't let these numbers fool you. You might actually get some decent propagation even on Earth's day side. Now, because we are hitting it near a uh, solar minimum, the cosmic ray penetration is a bit more than it would normally be. So you frequent flyers, and this includes you air crew who are flying at high altitudes and high latitudes and flying over over 800 hours annually, you are at the moderate risk for radiation dose, and this does include you prenatal passengers, so please keep this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week has definitely gotten interesting. Even though we're coming down from a solar storm that, well, kind of underwhelmed and fizzled a little bit, we have a chance for another. The sun launched a solar storm that's mostly going to go south of Earth, but the northernmost tip can actually graze Earth, and we are hoping that it'll hit us right around the fourth end of the fifth, and it could bump us back up to active conditions. So your war photographers, definitely keep your batteries charged especially you guys at high latitudes. Now, mid-latitudes, it may be another teaser here where you get a tiny bit sporadically here and there, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Now, amateur radio operators and shortwave responders, well, these mini solar storms, by keeping everything unsettled, that actually helps propagation a bit. Now, this propagation may be a bit more sporadic than you're used to, especially on Earth's day side, but at least it'll give you propagation that is a little bit better than what the solar 
lower flux numbers say right now, which is that it should be completely dismal. So let's hope that continues for a bit and gives you some decent propagation. And now for you GPS operators, well, as long as you stay away from the dawn dust terminators and away from Aurora during these solar storms, your reception should look pretty nice. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.